Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Celeste Crown of the Magister. Uh, 1.0, it's finally out, and it is, the campaign is done, I think they still have some more stuff in store. But, uh, as far as, like, the base game goes, it is complete. And that means it's time for me to finally start my series on this game. Uh, so, I will say that doesn't mean this is an episode 1, so if you saw my previous Early Access video on this, uh, the first half of this video is going to be familiar to you. Just skip ahead to the, the location on the timecode that I listed below uh, for new content, and then you can actually pick up exactly where that last episode left off, and that's still going to give you about uh, like 45 minutes, a full hour of like new stuff, clearing out that Sorak dungeon. Uh, so, with that out, out of the way, for those of you unfamiliar with Celestia Crown and the Magister, it is a Dungeons & Dragons 5.1 style tactical RPG, and it's extremely faithful with all of the same, you know, stats and roles and spells and abilities that you should be uh, familiar with if you've played Dungeons & Dragons before. And if you're not, it's actually a really good jumping on, on point just to, like, learn the basics, but without actually being fully overwhelmed by stats and stuff. It really does handle it all for you, apart from character creation. But even then, it's probably one of the friendlier character creators I've ever seen. So, uh... As part of this, they had actually gotten access to the uh, the SRD 5.1 rule set from Wizards of the Coast, allowing them to make this as faithful as possible. Usually, many of these games kind of are pale imitations, and this one is like, no, we want to go all in. We want to make it the most D&D experience, the, the most D&D video game uh, on the market. And it's true. It really is. It's... It's incredibly true to life, and it has a couple of extra bits that I really love. Uh, for starters, verticality. Uh, almost none of these games, almost no CRPGs even handle verticality. You know, maybe you can shoot down from a ledge, and that's about it. But this one, not only can you shoot down from the ledge, but your allies can hop up it, they can climb on the ledge, they can hang on the ledges and bite at your ankles. You can hop down and shoot up at them. Uh, for a sneak attack bonus, you can uh, hop across long gaps. It's incredibly cool. It's probably one of my favorite features of this game, just because no other CRPG really handles that level of verticality and spatial use of space, I guess. And I, it's a trend I really hope to see other games take note of, because it is so good. So, beyond that, the other major feature, uh, if you are unfamiliar with this game, is the fact that it has procedurally generated character personalities. So this isn't like Icewind Dale, where you just have a bunch of faceless mooks that don't talk to each other and it's actually really creepy. In this game, uh, they actually have procedurally generated personalities based on traits that you pick in the beginning of the game. So you can choose if they're like violent and altruistic, and it'll generate how they would react to stimuli around them, including other party members. So they will actually banter and make fun of each other and stuff. It's really well done. And it's a really nice change of pace for the... Well, usually these games just give you the boring, silent protagonist. And so in this one, they actually do react to each other. And they react to, you know, NPCs too. In a way that really does feel like it was just like a natural, normal bit of dialogue. And I love it a lot. So, last thing is, what actually you are watching right now is the dungeon creator. I'm just making a really basic thing with... A couple of goblins guarding an altar and a bunch of empty treasure chests just as a goof. I almost put in a dragon, and then I just kind of threw myself into it just to see if I could run around. It's pretty powerful, and the neat part about it is you can actually share uh, all completed maps on the workshop. So if you want to make an adventure, share it with a wide world, go for it. Uh, if you want to have just a room filled with an endless sea of goblins, yep, that's a thing. If you want to actually have like a multi-part adventure, also true. Uh, with your own lore and stories and so on and so forth. It's pretty powerful. It reminds me a lot of what I used to do with uh, Neverwinter Nights back in the day. And it's nice to see that tradition kept alive. But with all of those talking points out of the way, uh, one last thing, once again, thank you to Tactical Adventures for sponsoring this video. And without any more delay, let's get rolling. Before the Cataclysm, there were no gods on Celasta. No humans, either. Then, the rift opened. Some say it was a magical accident. Or the work of an evil god. No one knows for sure. The Cataclysm destroyed the old High Elf Empire. 
Manakalin, they called it, and twisted the land beyond recognition. Now, only the brave and the foolish go there, in search of ancient treasures. But something is happening deep in those badlands. Whatever it is, it can't be good. It is the year 1024 after the Cataclysm. New stakes have been have arisen around the Badlands and it crave its treasures. A newly discovered road offers a safer route into the ruined heart of the Empire from the Principality of Mazgarth, upsetting the balance of power. The Legacy Council is formed to ensure that this knowledge is shared. Its issues call for agents to explore the Badlands in its name. Adventurers flock to Kerr, Siflin, the Principality's capital, and the home of the Council. Four strangers meet in the Gravekeep's cask, close to the Council chambers. This beer tastes like donkey piss. Not that I'm complaining. Is this the place for the Legacy Council job? Hope I'm not too late. Ran into a bit of trouble on the way here. Take a load off. There's plenty of donkey piss to go around. If you're here for the Council job, get in line. Though if this Lord Karen doesn't show up soon, I may go looking for him. Yes. The weird beard is weird. Another round, barkeeper. Four of your finest flagons of donkey piss, please. Looks like you've been waiting here a while. We do what we have to. So what's this trouble you were telling us about? Well, I was making my way here when three bandits leapt from the bushes with crossbows. They dragged me off to some decrepit prison and tossed me in a filthy cell that smelled of rat piss. Don't know what was holding the place up. <laughs> what? That was weird. All right. Anyway, time to crush some mooks. What's up, mooks? Farewell, mooks. And that is how we escaped the prison. Not like it was much of a prison. Nice move. That trick with the wall. Glad you're no worse for wear. This council needs to get organized. They have no right to keep us waiting like this. Have another ale. It's not like you have anywhere better to be. I have a tale to tell as well. I too was attacked. But I put an end to my enemies with blood and pain. Let's hear it then. Don't be shy. So I'm going to own up to it. Uh, I broke Weird Beard's beard. I'm going to say intentionally. I think it's currently just a, a bug with a certain beard for a dwarf character creation that I'm 99% certain they're going to fix uh, sooner than later. But because it was just a little jank right then and there. Yeah, you can see it. It's uh, hanging off his face. And I kind of hope they don't fix it, just because I don't. I want it. I want Weird Beard's beard to be weird. Uh, but hopefully they see this and actually fix it up. Okay, so I'm supposed to be. I'm supposed to. Oh, just get rid of them. So I guess I can do whatever I want. I know the tutorial tells me to do certain things. I know you can shove. Um. Well, let's move forward. If I shove, push away. If I shove ah. that. There we go. Bye. Nice part is I still get to attack. Oh, that's all I get to do. And fine. <laughs> She's providing color commentary in the uh, on the couch, and she is saying that Weird Beard is not in fact a dwarf. Uh, and boy, I love that lore. He's fake. <laughs> He's just a short human <laughs> wearing a fake beard. Oh man. I don't know. I love that. I will. I will you have to play a. Doomed. I I will have to play like a dwarf character at some point that behaves exactly like that. That his uh. That like he's just got like mad disguise and bluff and a bunch of other things to pretend to be a dwarf for some reason. Boy, howdy! Those are some good initiative. Disengage. I like the combat system in this game. It's fun. Why can I? Why can I not? Okay. Oh, I see. No matter what, I had to push that boulder. 
It wasn't gonna let me move next to the boulder. What a bunch of namby pambies. You're lucky you weren't attacked by Sorax. Shut your gob, or I'll shut it for you. The Badlands are thick with them, shape shifting bastards. Holy shit, that guy's Go chin is easy amazing. On him. He's just a harmless old drunk. Probably saw lizard folk or dragonborn or something. You think I don't know the difference? All those spines on their backs, those jaws. You've never seen anything like it. Not lizard folk, not troglodyte, not dragonborn. I'm telling you. No one believes in Sorax anymore. Except the Church of Aenar, of course. There's a Sorak under every bed if you believe them. Easy now. Don't mock people for their faith. Read them books. Soraks are masters of deception, infiltration. Anyone here could be a Sorak. You'd never know. Oh, come on. Huh, <laughs> you'll see. So, anyway. Soraks might be legend, but orcs are quite real and not just in the Badlands. I stumbled across a secret settlement right here in the Principality. What? I was dragging my weary ass up the hills west of here and decided to leave the road to look for a shortcut. It was a beautiful day, blue skies, birds were singing. I watched one take wind and fell right into a bloody hole. Wait, did Fish Whisperer and yeah, Weird Beard switch hurt like hell. places on the table? They did. <laughs> Why would they do that? I realize it doesn't matter, but is it... Weird Beard got up to tell his story, and Fish Whisper took his spot at the table for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, so long rest. Here's the question. We're going to let a fire in here, yeah? Alright, start long rest. I'm assuming we lit a fire. How did the orcs not notice? Eh, maybe we didn't. Anyway, they gone. And we good. And we gone. Watch the orcs just not leave sometimes. I would have slaughtered every one of those green-skinned monsters. Orcs have a very distinctive stink. If Lord Karen keeps us waiting much longer, I might greet him with a dagger. We've all told a tale of our travels here. All but one of us. Yeah, but I have good reason for that. It's none of your bloody business. You can't have a true friendship without trust. What are you hiding? Fine. You want to know the truth? I stopped on the way here to visit an old friend of mine and discovered he was up to his eyeballs in debt with a loan shark. Oh, that's not good. Indeed, he put up a family heirloom as collateral and wanted me to reacquire it. Because, you see, I can be quite stealthy when necessary. <laughs> he switched spots again. <laughs> there you are, you filthy crook! You? What? You're drunk. Get out of here before I kill you. Think you scare me? Not anymore. A grave mistake. Liam, what are you doing here? I told you I'd take care of it. The fool. Alright. Now if I go here... The question is, is he aware that I'm still here? I actually... You know what? It doesn't matter. We're gonna stab him in the shanks. Ow! How did that not destroy him? Well, we get two attacks, I guess. Hooray! Oh, well, Another that would do it. The dust. Cripes! Are you four here to see Lord Karen? Depends on who's asking. Well, if you're here for Lord Karen of the Legacy Council, that would be me. Then we are here at your service, sir. Very good. We kind of need a little bit more info about the job, my lord. Well, I suppose it's better if you know what you're doing. What do you want to know? What can you tell us about this place, the Principality? 
We don't exactly have the time. Anyway, the Principality of Mazgarth is ruled by Princess Kaiwood Silverflower. We are a wealthy state with fertile lands and the easiest access to the Badlands through a pass called the Copperhead Road. We're in the capital, Kerr Kiflun, which was once part of the ancient Manicalan Empire of the High Elves. Hence the magnificent elvish buildings up there in the Hightow. While we don't have a state religion, all of the major faiths of Celasta are represented here, though we tend to favor Einar, the god of valor and fidelity. We hear this is a mission for the council, but what is it exactly? Dear Moraike, you don't know? I'll try to make it simple, but you know, politics? The council includes representatives of the most powerful and influential organizations in the Eastern Kingdoms. It was created to lead a joint effort to explore the Badlands. What are the organizations you mentioned? The council? is, uh, how to put it, a non-governmental organization, meaning that state governments are not represented to avoid partisanship. Instead, there are delegates from the Guild of Antiquarians, the Tower of Knowledge, the Arcaneum, and the Circle of Denantar. And the Church of Einar guarantees fairness, led by Marshal Beric Sunblaze and Oathkeeper Lyra Keen. What are the Badlands, really? Simply put, they are a monster-ridden, chaotic wasteland that used to be the elven empire called Manicalan. It was destroyed about a thousand years ago by the Great Cataclysm. Now, only ruins remain, full of forgotten knowledge, riches and dangers. Which countries make up these eastern kingdoms? Simple. The Principality of Mazgarth, here, is in the middle. The Snow Alliance lies to the north, the Kingdom of Galavan to the east, and the New Empire to the south. All friendly, more or less, but the peace is fragile. I think we know enough now. Thank you. Are we going to work for you? Not exactly, no. I'll be your contact with the Legacy Council, which you will serve as deputies. That's why we need to go there and get you sworn in. We should go, don't you think? Very well. Come, gather your things. You're late for your swearing in. Hurry up and wait. The story of my life. Man, look at just how beautiful this game is. I, I guess I should comment on it as we go by, because editing is going to... Uh, wipe out most of the views of this place, but, like, this is actually a really nice-looking city. Uh, I love the stonework. I love the designs of this, especially these... They almost look like kind of compass rose things, but I don't know. I'm sure there's a better name for it. Uh, but also these pillars. Like, I love the pillars, but I love the fact that they have them kind of wreathed in these growing ivy with berries and stuff. I don't know. It's a nice environmental nice detail. I believe if we come over here, there's a thing that I can grab. I can get to the angry violet. Violet? Violet. Angry violent? How'd you feel if flowers could just punch you? You walk by, smell a daisy, and it just socks you in the nose. That'd be bad. Look at the size of this council hall. So this is what they spend our taxes on. Look, is that... The princess. Wait, is she leaving? Apparently so. Then who will administer the oath? There's an oath keeper for that, I think. You thought it would be the princess? If she rules the whole principality, who's more important? Lady Keen, the council's oath keeper, is trusted by all. Lord Caron. Yes, my lady. Are these your new deputies? They are, my lady. My name is Lyra Keen, oath keeper of the council. Shh. Quiet, everyone. And I will be administering your vows. Once sworn in, you will carry the authority of the council wherever you go. Your every action will reflect upon the council's reputation. Remember that. Always. Now, please, raise your right hands. Do you, 
each and all, solemnly swear your lives and allegiance to this council and promise to carry forth our mission to protect our alliance from any who would threaten the common good. I swear. I swear. Excellent. Lord Karen will enter your name into the council's register. Thank you for your service. Congratulations, deputies. Wait, that's it. What were you expecting? A parade? No, no, I don't know. It just feels a bit anticlimactic. Sorry to disappoint. So, the mission. As I'm sure you know, the Council maintains a number of outposts to secure the border between the Principality and the Marches. One of them is the former Imperial Fortress, KLM. It's held by some 50 troops under the command of Captain Henrik. He sends us weekly status reports, or rather, he used to. We haven't heard a word from him in three weeks. Leave immediately for KLM and find out if anyone there is still alive. If Captain Henrik or anyone else is still breathing, bring him back. The Council wants a first-hand report. What can you tell us about this Captain Henrik? A fine officer, more than 15 years in the Principality's army. He inspires trust, loyalty and courage. Hence, the decision to post him there, facing danger. Wait. These marches... They're not in the Badlands, are they? The marches are a no-man's land, between the civilized world and the Badlands. It's outside the chain of mountains that really define the Badlands. We wouldn't send you in there... yet. Right. I guess that's that. It's on to KLM. I really like my halfling's armor. Faction relations is a thing. All right, time to go shopping. Time to do. Oh right, time to level up. Ah, uh, let's see. Can I do that now? I do I have to level up? So oh, I have to, to do a long rest. All right, let's go do that. I guess. Time to go be weirdly and pointlessly rude to the bartender. Hello, adventurers. What can I offer you? Your beer is terrible, and that's being polite about it. What? What? I've never had any complaints about the beer before. Maybe your palate is not refined enough. <laughs> I love the fact that we can just say that to him. We'd like to stay for the night. Sure. Just walk up to the suite and settle in. A suite? Uh, it's more like a large bedroom, really. But you know, this is the capital city. Like, can you imagine doing that to somebody, walking up to them being like, Man, your food tastes bad. Hey, by the way, can you do this thing for me? Like, you get laughed out of, you get laughed out of whatever establishment you're in. Which is odd, because that, I just described a YouTube comment that I got earlier today. I'm going to insult you, but that's okay, because uh, friends do this too, so YouTube comments can do it too, and I'm like, nah. Alright, uh, let's see. Anyway, I don't know if there's too much, oh, hello, Green Mage. So, uh, Green Mage gives smithing, uh, hmm, eh, let's see, I think I like the idea of, I like the idea of Lore Master just because advantage on Arcana History and Investigation Ability checks, not that Investigation is a thing, or, oh, never mind, Shock Arcanist. When casting spells from the war list, they count as being cast one level higher than you actually can use. Burning Hands, Magic Missile, Thunder Wave, Acid Arrow, Scorching Ray, Flaming Sphere, Fireball, Lightning Bolt, Ice Storm, and Cone of Gold. That effectively makes him decently stronger. What else do we got? You overcome your mana and become restrained until the end of turn. Okay, add proficiency bonus and into your... Ooh. Oh, but that's a... It's a use move, but that's fine. Okay, what is higher levels than Lore Master? You can add your proficiency bonus to the number of spells you can memorize. Oh. Never mind, we're going for Lore Master. Learn one additional spell every time you gain a level, and can add your proficiency bonus to the number of spells you can memorize. So that's... I don't know if that's extra per day, but even then, Lore Master sounds useful. Being able to cast slightly better spells would be nice, but more spells is generally just the smart move. 
Let's grab Burning Hands while we're at it. And honestly, considering we Mage Armor is kind of meaningless, I'm curious about Featherfall. I'm going to grab it. Okay. Then what about her? Okay. Oh, well, that was it. Hooray! Cunning action. Bonus action on each of your turns in combat. So it can be used to dash, disengage, or hide. Which is useful. And really useful. And weird beard. Okay, can cast spells and... Oh, choose a fighting specialty. So here's the question. When you engage two weapon fighting, you can add your ability modifier to the damage of the second attack. When you're wielding a melee weapon in one hand, no other weapons, plus two on damage rolls with that weapon. Archery, bonus to attack rolls with ranged weapons or extra AC. I mean, presumably this is probably going to be my best. I like the idea of potentially going archery, but I think this guy is going to be more of a melee fighter. I don't remember. Yeah, it's adding plus four. So using the short swords will add an additional four. So yeah, let's go to weapon fighting because that's going to make him way more monstrous. Okay, and he learns two spells. I probably want to do good berry. Uh, let's see. I don't think I don't know how useful animal friendship's gonna be. I'm thinking jump. Cause cure wounds isn't gonna be very good for him. It it's gonna be okay. I'm not actually sure what his ability bonus would be. Probably wisdom? I don't know. I'm thinking jump just because I really, really want to see uh this guy jump. With the bonus. Uh, you know what? No, let's do good berry and cure wounds. I think most of my characters are going to be pretty good at jumping. All right. Let's turn off comprehend languages. And let's go with that. Okay. So Bane is okay. Bless and cure wounds are our domain, so we can keep that at all times. Uh, let's see. I guess we'll have Detect Magic on, Guiding Bolts on, Healing Word is good, and then honestly beyond that, Allies AC by 2 for 10 minutes. Actually, that's really good. Oh wow, I can do this for a while though. Unfortunately, I think a number of these might be concentration ba based. Yeah, Properties, Concentration, Concentration. That's the one thing I absolutely despise about... Ooh, do we want to go inflict wounds? Sure. That's the one thing I despise about 5th edition. Is that I'm really not a big fan of concentration uh, for every single effect. Because it's just like, hey, here's a bunch of cool spells that you'd like to chain together. Oh no, you can only cast one of them because your character needs to concentrate on all of them at all times. It makes sense to prevent wizards from being busted, but boy, it limits what you can do. Are you, I think this is a character I need to talk to. But maybe I'll I can't talk to you in a minute. I have to talk to her afterwards. Okay, time to buy things. We'll do that in a bit. Or, no, 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 I can skip ahead. Deputies? A word, if you please. So famous already. I love it. You were in there, too. Are you a member of the council? I'm Annie Bagmorda, quartermaster of the Scavengers Guild. We don't have a seat in there, but they all know exploring the Badlands without us would be a bad idea. That's why you should stop by our headquarters downtown. You'll need our services, I'm sure. Is that compulsory? No. But you'll find our services useful. Everyone does. Did Lord Caron not tell you? No, he pretty much stuck to giving orders. Oh, right. Anyway, we offer plenty of help and advice to beginners like you. We are grown-ups, you know. At least most of us are. Of course you are. Well, good luck. Scavengers, eh? I never knew if they were legit or not. They're tough, these scavengers. Fearless. I'd rather visit the temple, honestly. So what do you think? Should we check out their headquarters? It's not far, but... I've had enough talking. Let's go and kill some monsters. If there's business to be done, we can't afford not to. Weird beard, you dunce. We have to talk to this lady. She's super helpful. Ah, you came. You piqued our curiosity. 
So, what exactly do you have to offer? You don't know. What kind of help do you offer to people like us? Simple. Now, people like you typically carry out missions for the Council. In the marches, even in the Badlands. Sometimes far away, like Captain Merrin. Who's Captain Merrin? You really must be new. She's one of yours. Senior Deputy of the Council. Anyway, you trek out to some old ruin in the Badlands, kill a bunch of orcs. Well, you're still a bit green, so let's say goblins. Ouch, you're hurting our feelings. Orcs will hurt much more than your feelings, believe me. And stop interrupting, it's rude. So let's say you find yourself with a whole load of rusty swords, leather armor, shields too much for you to log back here. Oh, so we're puny as well as green. Thanks so much. So instead, you brave heroes just clear the place of monsters and draw us a nice clean map. Then we take our carts and pick up every piece of junk. We bring it back, we sell it, and we split the profits with you. We move the stuff, you go off to kill more bad things. Everybody wins. For a percentage, of course. What? You could never carry it all anyway. Not in your little backpacks. Joke's on you. I'd turn on the option that gives me near infinite carrying capacity. Oh well. Well, thank you. I guess that's it for us. Fine. Feel free to visit us any time. Or drop into any scavenger camp. Are there others? Anywhere we can settle. By the way, if you find Captain Henrik, tell him we're still interested. In what? In getting our people to care Lem. The outpost is perfect for us. Close to the Badlands, with plenty of space for our camp. Right. We'll tell him if we find him. That would be appreciated. The more you do for us, the more we do for you. Oh, so this business relationship can get better. And I hope it will, friend. I guess we'll see you around then. Sure. Good luck out there. And don't forget, in the Badlands, always keep your eyes open. I, I really, really have to, I guess, underline how incredibly useful that is. I mean, obviously, it's, it's kind of like, oh, yeah, they just go grab your loot for you. But, like, that's huge. Uh, let's see. Boy, there's a lot of different characters that I should probably maybe talk to. Okay, let's go see what this guy has to say. I don't remember him being here last time. He might be a merchant. We'll see. But, like, I've played CRPGs before I had to leave loot behind. I, we all have, if you play these games. And having a service that, yeah, just go goes to grab all the loot that, you know, you you left behind because you don't want to carry back, like, 50,000 greatswords. Like, that's so nice. Oh, that's interesting. I got ambushed this time just traveling as opposed to, uh, well, resting. I'll bite. I'll record this. Unless it's the same one, one that I'm used to. Oh, no, it's, it's the same one that I'm always used to. Wow, look at that initiative. All right, surprise attack. We've, we've seen this song and dance. All right. All right. And I hope it'll roll high enough and I won't have to worry about it. Oh, well. I'm gonna get shanked to the booty. <sighs> nope, I didn't get shanked to the booty. I was expecting some shanks. One thing I will always miss about some of the old games is the uh, the really nice, nicely hand-painted uh, illustrations. Okay. I wonder if I can... Well, am I flanking him? I have no idea. If I move here, I've got a couple of things. So, we've moved. We can't hide if they're not detected, so I have to break line of sight. But I can't do that. I'm going to try pushing this guy. Nope, can't. Uh, shove, knock prone. Ha! 
Well, that didn't work. Cunning action. Move and act quickly. Take a bonus action each of your turns. Ah! Well, it kind of didn't work. That's okay. And we don't have anything else. I was... It's fine. So this is Weird Beard. Oh, right. He's got those. I guess, honestly... Ah! You Bye. can't win. Okay. Oh, we still have another attack. Ah! So... That's handy. I don't remember that normally being a thing, but I guess it is. Okay, so how much HP do they have? They've got... We don't know. Necessarily. Let's take a look. Where are the other guys? Right there? I'm just gonna put it there. Because they're gonna probably have to come at me. Oh, well, they're taking the long way around instead. Alright, well, I just feel disappointed now. Cast spell, what do I got? Got Sacred Flame. It's kind of nice. Guiding Bolts. Did a lot more damage. Ah! Boy, those were some numbers. Okay, can't do anything else. Ow. You seem worse. Rude. Now, is this guy gonna go around? Dang it. I mean, maybe that worked out, I guess. Okay, let's do cunning action to dash. There we go. Now this guy's almost dead. I'm gonna give this guy the ah! backy stabby. Well struck. There we go. Now I'm just gonna kill him. <gasps> I'm kind of digging the ranger. <sighs> Obviously we lose a little bit of uh, armor class, but I don't know, maybe it's fine. So I guess we did get ambushed in the middle of the long rest. Well. Grab everything. I really should not have bought a dang thing. Scimitar, which is a light weapon. Crossbow, rations, goodies. I'm seeing a lot of leather armor. Which I don't think we care too much about, but... The scimitars we want. I don't think we actually care about the rest of this. Chainmail. I'll grab it. The thing is, I... Uh... Oh, no, each of these characters has... Crazy, crazy carry capacity. Okay. Now, there's a setting you can change so that you can just carry as much as you want. I realize that's very much not realistic, but, like, whenever I play D&D, I just give all of my, uh, all of my players bags of holding and I don't even look back. You know, I won't let them put a, a truck in there. But at the very least, you know, if they, if they want to carry around, like, a decent amount of random items, cool. After a certain point, yeah, you'd be like, okay, you cannot have 3,000 swords in there. I know they're all a gold piece, a piece, but, like, that's ridiculous. Um, but, you know, honor rules actually work pretty well. None of my players have ever really tried to abuse it. I right, time to go dunk on some goblins. So that's KLM. We're almost there. It's just up the hill. It's a little too quiet, don't you think? Oh, ha! Shake it off! Are they just... Are they just bullying Fish Whisper? Please stop that. Stupid archers. Alright, whatever. I guess this is why I wanted to be behind cover, but... Oh, they didn't want to give me that luxury. I'll remember. Boy, that's that's some seriously good healing. All right, stick her there, and turn. Okay, and fish wi fish whisper can run a little bit further. I don't know how much I'm supposed to talk over this. I it's one of those where it's like I'm so used to talking over dang everything, but uh, what about what about ma magic missile? New. No. No can do. Alright, whatever. Let's go with this. 
yeah, my my natural inclination is to always commentate over everything. But boy, like I've been here, I've done this, I commentated over these fights in the past, so it's just a matter of like I don't know. That's on me. Mild exhaustion. I don't like starting over in games. It's always kind of the worst feeling. That said, this is a game that like I legitimately really wanted to play the uh the 1.0 version when it happened. Uh, let's see. Gosh. Alright. Let's switch back to this. Here's a question. Is she still hiding? I guess she is. Doesn't matter. You know what? Never mind. I think it says hide. Maybe? She's in bright light. You know what? We're just gonna hit this guy. Ah. Problem solved. Okay, do we want to hit the other one? I think I can only sneak attack once. Okay, cunning action. Let's attack. Didn't kill it. Uh, I'm gonna just, ha just have her... Oh, right. I was supposed to disengage. Well, it's fine. I think she's got the beastliest AC of the entire group. Uh, let's see, just hit him? Yeah. You can't win. Why? Ah! <laughs> I really gotta get Fish Whisperer some armor. Unfortunately, I made the really foolish uh, decision to give him medium armor proficiency. Not realizing that does not guarantee light armor proficiency. God darn it. They're just going to keep wailing on Fish Whisperer until he's dead in the ground, aren't they? Alright, whatever. Ah! Time to go heal Fish Whisperer again. I, it's just, it's so rude. Okay, and I can't do anything else. Alright, cast spell. What do we have? So we got Magic Missile. The problem is we've got these skirmishers that are up above. Okay. I'm gonna try that. Let's hope that kills the one in the back. Victory is yours. Perfect. That's what I was hoping for. Okay. And then, because Fish Whisperer keeps getting shot, I'm going to put him behind full cover again. There we go. I said I was tired of this goblin fight. I'm not, actually. I love these games. Uh, hmm. I guess we'll just hit him a couple of times. Too slow. Okay, what else she got? I guess I might as well move her up. Because she's got really high AC. No, she doesn't. She's got, like, okay AC. That's fine. Bango. Uh, not enough damage, though. We, oh, rude. Rude dude. Okay, what do we got? Let's see, Sacred Flame? Can I? No. Oh, let's just roll up. Let's see if we can get closer. Yeah, I don't want to do Guidance. This should be able to hit him now, as long as he doesn't dodge it. You stink. Alright. What do we got? Can I... Am I too far away? Nope. Hell yeah. This should hit. Please die. In 23 hit, again. be good. Perfect. I don't know. I love... I love grid-based combat in these games. Where did those goblins come from? Some hole in the mountain, I guess. So, it's an interesting conversation. I, I know a lot of people... Uh, go back and forth on the active time with pause versus... Oh, right. We should probably loot these guys. Uh, active time with pause versus grid-based. <clears throat> I find grid-based combat to be considerably better. However, it tends to drag on, which is often a bit of an issue. You know what? Let's just loot all. Fish Whisper, you're going to just be a walking armament by the time we're done. Um, oh, there's more. I guess oh. AOE loot only works so much. 
There we go. Yeah, I'll just I'll just hit the the mystical loot all. I know that this is a scavenger's guild, but I might as well carry it all with my uh like carry it all and reap the benefits. Okay, there we go. So what was I gonna say? Active time with pause. Right. I just find with active time with uh active battle with pause, I just I lose the script on what's going on. Uh that, you know, everything is fine, I'm kicking ass, and then all of a sudden uh somebody got crit and it's just a little too late. A lot of games have like kind of an auto pause that'll trigger. Uh, and I find that's actually a really good system as well. However, my personal preference is always just to have turn based. Uh, though the real pro move is to have both. You know, fodder fodder fight, just go active time. I have a bad feeling about this. Where's the garrison? Dead or run away? Look! That tower! That's insane! Courtesy of the Cataclysm. The marches are full of stuff like this. The Badlands are worse. Anyway, we have a mission. Let's check the fortifications. Okay, so we've got a couple of things to do. First and foremost... I believe there's a skill up there. Okay. That's said. Let's have her come up here. Split the party a bit. I know this area is safe. Okay, Fish Whisper. Oh. There's a lock on that. Well. No, you got it. Alright, cool. We get a shield, we get some stuff. I don't remember there being any other treasure around here. Okay, we get a candle. You know, touch candle. Doesn't look like we got anything else that's fancy. I don't remember there being oh. anything else. Alright. And around we go. I know there's like a warp stone around here, but I don't think we can do anything with it. I'm just gonna go this way. Nope, not this way. That is a big, big no. I Gosh, which game was it? It was definitely a CRPG I played a long time ago where you could accidentally just walk straight into the fire and take tons of damage. Doesn't look like the characters will do it willingly this time. There's definitely been fighting here. Why did we take this job again? Oh yeah, these lovely council badges. This is no time for jokes. Right, whoever did this could still be around and we don't want them hearing us. We should look for survivors. Fifty people can't just vanish. Did you see that? Someone's hiding inside the tower. It's a trap. The goblins killed everyone, and now it's our turn. Or they're the survivors, and they're being cautious. We need to get up to that door. If they slaughtered the garrison, they'll pay. Back off! No closer! Who's there? We're not letting you in! And we're not coming out! Is Captain Henrik there? We need to talk to him! Don't you dare speak his name, you filthy bastard! Don't talk to them! They'll cast a spell on you! Don't touch me! Lost their minds, a lot of them. Let's get to the door. Maybe if they can see us up close, we can show them our council badges. I'm really surprised. I know I know they have the uh the like weird doppelganger lizards. I'm really surprised they didn't just go with doppelgangers in this game. Uh, let's see. Okay. What's this? I think it was a minor gate. Dang. At its height, the Manakalan Empire had countless gates like this to magically travel throughout the Empire. I don't suppose it still works. Some say there are still functioning gates. And this plaque? Any value? Maybe. The Tower of Knowledge? Why not? Hey, we get EXP for that. I was like getting small amounts of EXP for things like Wait, that. a trap! Get everybody here. Okay, push that out of the way. Now, I know we get ambushed here by something. There we are. 
Yeah, unfortunately, like I said, I've done this before, so at this point, I'm just following my own footsteps. However, okay, they're there. Now, they're going to be coming for me pretty quick. Uh, let's see. So I guess... I don't actually remember how tough these suckers are. Um, let's just start with a basic firebolt. Easy peasy. Nice move! <laughs> ah! Well, that was... Effective. Crossbows. Yeah, unfortunately, last... Well, never mind. I was going to say, last time I did this, uh... Oh, we still don't have enough HP. Healing word, shield of faith. Should probably bless the party at some point. Maybe. Oh, yeah, well. Yeah, last time I did this, I did not have a whole lot of good ranged you attackers. This time I actively uh, built around it. Because I know verticality and stuff like that is kind of a big deal on this game. And I figured, uh, this time I might as well make a bunch of characters that can, that can do multiple things at once. Put her there. I want her to be able to, um, if I'm lucky. Oh, well, that was a sad shot. Just bad luck. Cutting action. Disengage dash. Nah, can't do anything. Uh, I want characters that can attack both in melee and range. Ah! At least we didn't get poisoned. Because, like, you don't really think about it in, like, regular D&D, because your DM usually puts you in small environments. But the moment you start playing one of these games, it's just like, oh, shoot. Rage combat's actually, like, really important. K kind of. Kind of really important, <laughs> I say as I get surrounded. Um, hmm. Gosh, I don't know. Perfect. I'm really not doing so hot with these uh, base spells, but that's okay. So on board. Uh, let's see. Who do I hit? Uh. The one right above her? Question mark. I'm not entirely clear on that one, but that's okay. Uh, let's snipe that guy if I can. There Another we go. victory. So they've got about this seven is HP. Destiny. Switch back to dagger. Ah! Well, that'd do it. Ah! That would not do it. Huh? Lucky me. Oh, come back. I wish to shoot you. And this is why I brought multiple characters that can do ranged attacks. I don't actually know if this matters too much, but boy, this was a fight that oh, stymied ah! me the last time I did this. And we're good. Hey. And doesn't look like anybody's in a particularly rough spot here, so I'm just gonna... Huh. Question. Can I... Okay. This is important. I'm gonna make her the party leader. Main reason being, uh, she's the one that does all the trap detection, trap interaction, lockpicking, so on and so forth. Yeah, the only immediate problem that I have... Oh, camera elevation. Shoot. Hold it. A trap. Okay, only immediate problem that I have is that I need to go back. I left the treasure behind. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I thought she'd turn around and go back the way she came. <laughs> no, she took the express route. <laughs> Whoops. All right. I, you know what? Grand scheme of things it, that I, I don't know. Whatever. It fine. Just, oh no. She didn't even loot everything. Go back. Hello? Loot, loot the baggish? I, I, I guess it's a phantom bag. All right. I'm really curious if you could do a standing jump onto a, like an upper area. Huh with this. Like, I really would love to know the upper limits. Now, let's see. Is it Z and X? Q I know Q and E is that. I don't know. It's fine. Ah! I'll care more, more about verticality later. Closer attention required, friend. I... Would that even ah! matter? Okay. Yeah! 
Now I'm gonna quick save because I know I know this is. I mean, I know we get in no matter what. Okay. Oh, we have to gather our party before venturing forth anyway. Easy peasy. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna do this one differently. If you guys saw my previous video on this, I gonna try and change how these events work. You damn Sorax. Sorax? Did they say Sorax? You can't be serious. Sorax are a legend for scaring children. You bastards took the captain, but you won't take us. Don't talk to them. Okay. So, Council de Deputies, honestly... Let's do a sword experience. I love the fact that backgrounds matter in these games. I think I made sure that they'd all have separate backgrounds. I know how you feel. I fought at Sandreed. Lost a lot of good friends there. Sandreed, eh? Which unit? What happened to don't talk to them? The Long Swords under Lord Dalmore. He died on the third day. Arrow in the eye. Jonas Mills was the real leader. Fought to the bitter end. Open up. They're not Sorax. No! I said no! I still love the weird beard's beard is not attached. Thank you for letting us in. Don't thank me. So, you really believe you were attacked by Sorax? Men-sized lizards who speak? Oh yeah, they're real. But we found no corpses, nothing. We know. They took all the bodies, ours and theirs, so no one can prove they exist. You realize, of course, how improbable that sounds. You won't laugh when they come back. We got here without trouble. Then they let you in. And now you're trapped with us. Why would they do that? How should I know? They're Sorax. Are you in charge here? Lieutenant Beryl Stonebeard. Second in command. After Captain Henrik. You know, it's so weird. I'd never heard of Lieutenant pronounced as Lieutenant up until this year when I decided to randomly play uh, Warhammer 40k Space Marine for a bit. And I was like, oh yeah, they're calling it Lieutenant. You know, is that a common pronunciation? The answer is, yeah, it's a, it's a very European, specifically, you know, British uh, way of pronouncing it. And, you know, now I've heard it in like four different games and it's throwing me off like crazy. I, uh, is it the Dunning-Kruger effect? No, no, that's the one, that's the one with morons. I don't remember what the uh, what the effect is. It's it's like a psychological thing where once you notice something, uh, you start noticing it more and more. I I always forget the name of it though, frustratingly. Uh, but that's exactly what I'm dealing with here. We'd like to talk to everyone here, if that's all right. As long as you don't try anything clever, we're good. I love their outfits, but this spy-looking dude looks real goofy. <laughs> I don't know, the hood just doesn't quite fit his face, so he just... The dude looks like he's got cold ears. Okay, so last time I was here, I really honed in on this guy. Mainly because he he specifically was shifty and had, like, stolen something from a Sorak outpost, if I remember right. I want to do it differently, and I want to see what I can what I can do differently. So, I'm going to ignore him entirely. We're going to talk to these two. Mainly Robar. Is it Robar? I think it's it's either Robar or Elizabeth. We're gonna we're gonna actual save. Oh well, we gotta wait until we're done climbing. I forgot. Can't save while I'm doing that. All right. New save. Sorak or no Sorak? No. Um. Okay. Because yeah, spoilers. The path. Well, no. Now let's skip the spoilers. Let's talk to them. I'm gonna see if I can change the outcome though. Now it's my turn, right? What do you mean? What is this? A murder investigation? Should we be investigating? Maybe. Speak up then. Well, let's say this all happened after a certain expedition. 
Go on. The scouts. They came back from a raid into the Badlands, found a ruin, came back with loot. The next day, this happens. Coincidence? You tell me. Only one of them still alive. Daliat. Okay. Blue. Hey there. Hi. Name's Robar Sharp. Sounds like you're the most experienced here, Robar. Yeah. But I'm not in charge, mind you. So you fought at Sand Raid too? Oh, yeah. Got the scars from Rebel Arrows to prove it. Oh, those damn skirmishers. They gave me a few holds, too. Well, if we survive Sandreed, we'll both make it through this. That's the plan. What do you think of Daliad? Never liked him. He's hiding something. He's been nervous since we came back from the Badlands. But it'd be no good picking a fight with him now. I understand. This Lieutenant Stonebeard, is she up to the job? Clearly not. Look around. Losing the captain broke her. How about Lisbeth? You're her superior? Good woman. Strong, brave. You can trust her with a sword. That's worth something in my book. So what do you think we should do? For starters, not wait in here for the Sorax to come back and off us. But Stonebeard says stay. And she's an officer, so? Yeah, she's a stubborn one. And mutiny's a bad look on a soldier. You could talk to her. Deputy of the Council and all. So, if we find a way, you're with us? I'm with myself. But don't let that stop you. Alright, now I'm pretty sure I can loot this. There we go. I don't think they get mad at me. Looks like not. Perfect. Okay, so we gotta talk to Daliet. Uh, I don't wanna. He, he looks fine from a distance. I think it's just up close. His, his hood is just a little too... A little too much. Anyway, so we'll... So, who are you, friend? Daliet Sunbird Scout. Do you believe they were Sorax? Dunno. Seemed real, though. What do you think they wanted? To kill us all. Not big on talk, eh? I'm having a pretty bad day. So, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna rest now. I know what it is. It's the hood doesn't actually cast any is shadows me, on his face. Or didn't he like that last question? Right. We need to make a decision here. We have enough to make our report to the Council, so let's get going. If we don't help them, they'll either die or kill each other. Let them. Could be fun to watch. So everyone has an opinion, but what are we going to do? And what about Daliat? We got some pretty worrying hints about him. What if he really is hiding something important? If we accuse him, it might end in blood. That leaves us with the others. What's our strategy? Let's just get them together and discuss this. Well, I'm not sure, but... Fine. Agreed. Okay, so I want to try and do that. Because the last time I tried to do this, it went badly. Can we talk? What now? Sorry, we'll come. You do that. Okay, how do I get them all together? Oh, no? Hmm. Let's start with Robar. Because maybe. I'm, I'm not sure how to go about this, but that's okay. It doesn't matter that much. Hello? Deputies. Okay. How do we talk to them together? 
Never mind. Aye. Because we can ask Stonebeard to step down. We can ask him to take the lead. Okay. I guess let's go talk to Stonebeard. Uh, I'm going to save before the... Oh, right. Cannot save while on ladder. I'm going to ask her to step down first. She's probably going to not going to take to it well. But we'll see how it, how it goes. Can we talk? What now? Okay. You need to step down. Oh? And why is that? This command, this situation is clearly too much for you. You think I'm happy to be in charge of this mess? Okay. We are relieving you of command in the name of the council. Hell yeah. Fine. You get us out of this, deputies. Hey, what's that? Robar! Ah. Mm. Uh. Okay, I'm gonna try something else. Okay. Now, if you're wondering why I'm doing this... Eh. Well, let me reload. Ow. I really want Robar to live. Now, now that you guys know, just in case, I don't know, I'm not I'm not very good at being coy or sneaky about hints and stuff. Uh, I am a horrible backseater and a terrible spoiler, so I try and stay away from talking about either if I can. Uh, I really want Robar to live. I mean, obviously he was a little self-serving on that one, but like, dude still seemed, you know, way competent. I'm going to try talking to him about making him leader, and we'll see how that goes, because... Uh, last time I did this, I went after him and had the same thing happen. Now, obviously, if everything, if all outcomes are the same, then we go after Daliot just because he has inf interesting information. But if I can save Robar, that's more important. Hello. Deputy. Okay. Robar, we want you to take over from Beryl. She'll refuse. We'll back you up. She won't have a choice. Right. But you deal with her if she gets mad. What's that? We believe Robar should assume command of your remaining garrison. Him? Just like that? We order it as deputies of the council. <laughs> He'll get you killed. She took that well. So, boss, what's the plan? What the? Lieutenant! I mean, honestly, grand scheme of things, that's... this works for me. Because two things. One, I'm actually on equal ground with a Sorak, which is huge. Uh, because last time I did this... Let's see, three targets. Uh, I guess I might as well boost the three of them. Maybe I should have boosted myself on that one. Um, anyway. Go swords. Go there. Let's see, what do we don't really have too much? So we're just gonna stab this guy twice in the butt. Run while you can! Okay. There we go. Yeah, so no matter what, somebody dies. That is. Let's see. Damn. He had a negative one. It just didn't work for me. It's fine. I think we'll be okay. But yeah, no matter what, somebody has to die. It's just this time it was not Robar. And I'll take it. Is there another one? Oh, no. You know she had it coming. She failed us. Happy now? Hey, we didn't do this. The Sorak did. Right then. They are real. This is unbelievable. The council must know. And we need to leave. Or we'll be next. This could have been avoided if you people hadn't wasted time bickering. Let's focus here. We can't save her now, but we can still save ourselves. Now, here's the question. Does the thief guy come with us? Or he is he gone? From here. Look. What's this? A secret passage? From Imperial times. That was just a scout. More will be coming. They're here. They're coming back. Outside. We need to go. Take your stuff. 
into the secret passage before it's too late. Interesting. Yeah, the the scout dude, I think, has disappeared. Interesting. I wasn't expecting that. I don't remember what happens to him. All right. So at this point, we've pretty much hit the li limits of my knowledge. Hello. Seems quiet. We must be cautious. Other Sorax might be scouting these caves. Hey, where's Daliat? He was here a moment ago. The Sorax? And the others are in the tower, looking for that secret door. We don't have much choice. Let's move. All right. There we go. Ah! Sometimes there is simply no choice. I feel kind of weird that I gave Weird Beard. Up to my knees in mud. Nothing new here. Leadership is what we need now. Mm-hmm. This one didn't die yesterday. What's this outfit? Timarian. Who wants to open this? You never know. There might be a fortune in there. I, I always feel weird about... You know, giving characters, like, a glitched appearance or something. I... <laughs> oh. Okay. I guess let's just move them all back and have her go for it. No path for destiny. Oh, no path for destination, of course. But yeah, I, I feel weird about uh, exploiting glitches or, like, even showcasing them whenever I'm doing a sponsored video. And I feel especially weird that I'm, like, using it for the video as kind of a gag. Magnificent le leather armor. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter. It doesn't have light armor profici proficiency. Eh, that's fine. We'll probably find yeah. like a, a heavy armor later. Mithril chain shirt would do the trick. Um, wait. Think they're Sorax? Who else? Right out of a fairy tale. As ugly as life. And certainly not lizard folk. We can surprise them. Can't we sneak around? From what I see, not a chance. All right. Tread lightly. And we all attack at once. Yeah, like I said, whenever I'm... I'm I, yeah, surprise attack. Sneak up close to enemies who are unaware. You can take them by surprise. Force them to lose their turn in battle. Uh, let's see. Attack first. And so, start the battle, give you the advantages of, of surprise. As long as they remain unseen, they have advantage on attack rolls. Alright, we'll do this first, though, ah. real quick. Might as well find all the goodies. I think this is just uh, a little bit of mushrooms. I don't think there's anything else in here. I'll take what I can get. Free stuff. Uh, let's see. But yeah, whenever, whenever I have, like, a sponsored video, you know, obviously you want to show the game off in its best state. Unfortunately, I think I might be a little twisted with this sort of thing of I really like games that have like small bugs that just kind of are funny. Um, you know, visual glitches are my favorite where it's just like, you know, silly to listen to, but doesn't impact gameplay in the slightest. So it's just like, well, is this OK? I've been second guessing myself this entire time. All right. So how do we start this one? Okay. Now, obviously, we're going to have to wait for a little bit. Or not. Damn it. There we go. Okay. So, I'm pretty sure we've got major advantage on this one. Here's the question. They're looking pretty full health. Oh, the only immediate problem with putting her there? I I should have had somebody else over there. Honestly, I should have actually thrown Robar over there. Do I want to go back for that? Probably not. Okay. Gonna take a good shot at this guy. That nice advantage. Okay, end turn. Now, if I do cunning action, dash. Okay, so I can get over here on a dash if I want to. Which is good. Uh, let's see, who do we hit? I'm gonna try and snipe the warrior. 
Okay, and then we're gonna dash. We're gonna dash over here. I'm oh boy. Huh. Well, that worked. My logic is she's not gonna be able to sneak attack particularly well normally. Ah. Uh, oh no, con save. Okay, work. Ow. Or fish whisper. Um. She's out of spells. I ain't that stinky. Oh, that's because he has... Just <laughs> one radiant damage. Oh, that's rough. Okay, he's got AC 16. Use power special ability. Second wind. Okay, so this guy's a fighter. Pure and simple. Do we get him down there? Robar is stealthy. We don't know how tough these guys are. We also have these that I could potentially drop, but I have no idea how I'd even do that. Well, get him, Robar. More caution next time. Decent amount of damage. Could be better. Action, action surge? Yes. We're just going all in early. The more damage I can do early, the better. Okay, use power, second wind, no. But useful. Okay, Fish Whisper is in a stinky spot. Immediate problem is no good cover for him. I think what I'm gonna do is Hmm. He's only got one spell left. Let's make it count. Guarantee he dies before he gets a turn. Impressive move, my friend. Okay. And then I'm just gonna get him way behind cover. Oh shoot. That's not behind cover. That's behind cover. Okay. I'll just have him be up there where it's safe. It looks like she does not have too much. I'm just gonna have these two hang out. Uh, ooh, maybe I shouldn't have. Nope, I should not have done that. You'll need to do better than that. Here's the problem. She does not have nearly the HP that anybody else does. I'm gonna have her run back here. At least this way she can't get as mobbed. That's oh doom laughter. Ah, you're still standing. She is now dead. All right, let's uh let's rethink that. If I go back, where does that toss me? She got aced for twelve damage. I want to keep the NPCs alive. I probably, you know, should I? I probably don't need to, but you know. Escort quest. Better reward. The usual. Okay, where are we at? So this is the beginning of this combat. That, I mean, honestly, actually works out. Okay. So let's just try this business again. I thought we said cautious. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna belt him if I can. 10 damage. Oh, he's almost dead. Okay, cunning action, dash. We're just gonna bring her over there. Oh, what a fantastic leap! Huh. Not quite as impressive athletics this time around. Okay, I'm not gonna pop down there and try and kill him. I think that was a mistake. Oh. Owie. Owie. Well, didn't hit Fish Whisperer, which actually is kind of nice. Okay, cast spell. If I'm lucky, I can toast this dude. I don't believe it. Damn it. Well, that sucks. 
Uh, let's see. Honestly, I'm just going to have him hang there. Okay. And same deal as before. This actually turned out worse for me. I guess I'll just hit that guy twice. Please actually kill this dude. He's got to only have Nobody like one HP. He had only one HP, in fact. I'm just going to put him behind the pillar so nobody shoots at Fish Whisperer because, boy, he is not a durable boy yet. Okay, and we're going to keep her in the back because she is very killable. Dude. More caution next time. So they can fight me on walls. Ah! Ow. Well, it's okay. We're doing a long rest after this anyway. Please tell me I can hit this thing. Yes. Ah! Again. Harder. Okay. Decent. Didn't kill it. Okay. My only immediate tragedy... Because ah! I'm not going to get my... into a cunning action. I can. It's fine. More. Wow, that was bad. Okay, and we're in a th threatened square, so I can't do anything with that. Uh, let's see, attacking Weird Beard, but it's fine. Okay, so we've got the Saboteur. I wonder if I could have hit that. I'm going to try and go for this guy, though. There we go. Let's see. If I disengage... Um... Nah, I'm just going to wait on this thing. Wow. Okay, he does damage. This seems like a good time for an action surge. There we go. I like... Okay. Let's move him right up in here. That way we threaten the Sora Cath. Question number two. Can I hit this? Yes. Oh, it does have cover, though. Eh, not much. Okay. And then I'm going to quick save, just because I really don't want her to die. Nope. Nope. Hit it. Oh, come on. Reception. Oh, stealth. There. It dead. All we have left are two more. Uh, let's have her move over. She has gone beast mode. I do like the action, action surge. I don't know. I used to go fight her. Wow. Okay. Uh, I used to go fight her all the time when I was uh, playing well, third edition. Struck. Haven't really bothered with it since. Okay, I don't have any more cover. Did this give me cover? I have no idea. You know what? I'm just going to charge the dude. I should have actually gotten right there, but I don't think it would have mattered. Okay, let's do cunning action dash. We'll have to shoot it the rest of the way, but that's okay. At least we'll get closer. Hopefully we can do some melee stuff in the next round. It is... I, are you serious? I can't shoot it. Okay, maybe I can shoot it from over here. Yeah. Either that or we're totally out of ammo. I highly doubt we're out of ammo. Well, she can't do anything anyway. <laughs> Never mind. Alright. Oh. Cover is nice. Uh, and I should probably utilize it more. But instead, toast it. Well, I I did in fact get get the toasted. It just did me no good. Uh, it's actually dash. I don't know what I'm doing. Here we go. Oh, I guess I guess there is still cover there. I thought it got destroyed. Excuse me, sir. Get toasty. Perfect. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, we're just rolling bad. We're just rolling mega bad. Okay. Let's, um... 
Let's keep her careful, because I think she's by and far the most vulnerable <gasps> person here. Okay. Charge. Shanky time. More shanky. See, that's Go the good on. hits. Hey, that was a decent amount of EXP. Hopefully we didn't take everybody else into account, but that's okay. Oh. Loot those. It looked like... Ah, uh, no, 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 no. They all dropped loot. I wasn't sure if the, uh, the little guys did. And they did. Alright. This is a good time for a long rest. The, the idea of resting while a Sorak incursion party is chasing us is uh, real silly. Okay. So everybody recovers. Can't wait till we're a higher level and we actually have goodies. Um, Jeez, I don't think I'm going to change any spells. Alright, so I see torches. Nah, I don't see anything else. Okay. X spotted. Thought so. Thieves tools thirty two. God, rogues are just straight busted. I love them. Like I don't know. I especially, especially later on in my D and D years, it's like, oh yeah, rogues have just goofy abilities. Get somebody to push this out of the way. That's a weird angle. Okay, what do we got in here? Okay, I see another boulder. Hello? Ooh. Can anyone read that? It's old Tiermarian. It looks like part of an Inquisitor's outfit. So that's from the tower up there? Maybe we're inside the tower. Is that gold? This is history. History all around us. Take it and let's move. The Sorax don't care about history, I'm sure. Well. And then everybody warps into that room. But it's fine. Alright, let's get out of here. I think, if I can. Anything else? I like this kind of attempt at making it look like it was hand-sketched. That's a cool way of doing it. Oh shoot! I actually moved. Shit uh, food, shit shoes, business. We should have as left usual. long ago. I I will admit, Robar is wearing on me a little bit. I I thought he was at least like somewhat sensible. Now he's kind of whiny. Fancy. The Sorax can't be far away. We should be cautious from now on. Okay. Speaking of cautious, no path to destination. Yeah, clearly. Hmm. I have to push that object. This is where a jump spell would come in handy, but I'm pretty sure I didn't bring it along. Uh, cast spell guidance. Huh. That'd be a really big. Yep. What happened? Oh, they're all the way over there. Hmm. I frankly don't know how to feel about this. This might actually work out in my favor. I'm just gonna quick save here. It seems like these guys are just absolutely poop, uh, poopsying their, their athletics checks. And it's like, well... Because here's the thing. I got a, I got a couple of easy options. One, we can just start pelting these guys with ranged attacks. What went wrong there? 
Okay. I've got the lower areas, but I don't think I want to do that yet. I just want to see if I can get over here, but no dice. Okay, yeah. I'm going to have her pop down. Okay. Here's what I want to do. Cast spell. Please tell me I can cast grease. Oh no, line of sight. Line of sight. Oh, maybe, maybe here. Cast spell, line of sight, grease. Someday. Okay, fine. Cast spell. Damn! Major disadvantage. Okay. Um, end turn. Shoot. Cast spell. Sacred flame. This is awkward. And what I'd like to do is probably have my two range characters. Let's set them up like this. Uh, hopefully Weirdbeard can get past. He can, but it's going to cost him all of his moves. Shoot. I could have done this better, mainly just if I could have had my team up here. That would have done it. But, alas, and it's okay. Uh, why not? I... Please tell me he has ammunition. No, oh, he's got am ammunition. What? Oh, oh, right, because I did a dash. I was wondering about that. Might have him pop up, uh, pop down. I don't actually know if there's anything there. Um, but, like, what else am I going to even do with, with Robar? I'm really hoping that these guys just keep failing their jumps and just absolutely eating it. Unfortunately, that might not necessarily remain the case. Okay, and we're gonna just have her hide back there. She's... This is gonna be too much for her. Dang it. I was really hoping I could kill this sucker. Okay. I really, really just want to see one of these guys fall into a pit. Maybe not die, but just be down there for a while. Okay, so this puts me in a really bad spot. I think this is why I was supposed to stealth. Here. What is what is my last save before this? It was like right before. Okay. I'm gonna go back. Cause I wanna I wanna get the whole team to bear in front as opposed to being victims of line of sight. A lot of these guys have a 32 HP. That's a lot to chunk through when only like two of my characters can be up on that, that initial pillar. Um, but if I can have Brobar and maybe Weirdbeard. Okay. <laughs> We're going to have her go back. Okay, that is weird sounding. Uh, let's see. The main question is... Because I know... I know we have a lot of dudes here. The main issue is going to be line of sight is not going to be my friend. Okay. Move him there. The real question is... Where can I get her to go? Because I, I know we've got the, the ambushers there. <coughs> Unless this whole thing is just a giant stealth puzzle. Kind of looks like it, except for I don't think I'm going to be able to get past them. I don't see any neat toys. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, what do we think? So I think no matter what, I'm going to have to pelt these guys. Hmm. Just bring her hmm. back. We might want to just shoot one of these guys. Did she actually get the shot? Yes. And it got him for a bit. Okay. Unhide. Now, I think I can bring her back down, but I don't know if I can bring her back up. Um, I'm going to move her over here. Could be a mistake, but she's tough enough, I think. End turn. Okay, they're very surprised. Big immediate issue. He is hitting them. Now I can hit that guy. Okay, cast spell. I hit him. No, but I can hit that pillar. Which is big. Okay, cast spell. I guess this would be a really good round for bless on those three. Yeah, let's do that. All right. They're beast beasted up. And we can, in fact, drop the pillars. Okay. Melee, melee attack to later. Okay, cast spell. We want to do grease. Grease lasts for one whole minute. And please, for the love of everything, be right there. I just want to turn that into a horrid shooting gallery, and I might also want to grease that up. We'll see. I just want to use and abuse grease really bad. Okay, and she just does nothing, because bad things happen otherwise. Alright, let's take a look. I don't remember... Nope. Well, that was a critical miss. That was bad. Do they just not... They, they have to know where I am. There's no way they don't. Okay. The only immediate problem is they might not all collect where I want them to. But I'm gonna keep shooting this guy. If I can kill him at this distance, I will be a happy camper. Cast spell. What else do we got? I've got guiding bolt, inflict wounds, and honestly, I probably shouldn't be doing too much. Seriously? Uh. Let's ready a cantrip at attack at the very least. Ready a melee attack. We're just going to wait. Cast spell. What do you do? Got another grease spell there. How much, how much tactics do I want to do? You know what? I never... Oh... I might not be making that jump, though. I don't know. Oh, it's concentration, isn't it? Uh, you know what? They they have to go over this. And there's three of them that way. This guy's not... I don't know if there's any others. That's a much better spot for the Grease spell. I just feel kind of silly. Boy, that's a lot of them. I really wish I had some AoEs here. But we'll have to wait for at least, like, half this game. <laughs> I think to get to that point. At least, at least we've done, like, a decent chunk of damage to some uh, to a number of these dudes. Please die. Thank you. Okay. Here's another option. A really silly one. Please slip. Okay, he fell. So here's an option that I didn't really consider until just now. I'm gonna go right here. End turn. Oh, I can't I can't do Robar yet, but that's fine. Cast spell. Sacred flame. Oh, I should have. No, we'll get, 
What Maybe was another smart? shot. It's radiant anyway. Okay, don't have anything else? Okay. Perfect. Here's my, here's my thoughts. We might try and have Sentinel do it. I could do it from here. Let's just try and knock him over. Nope. Failure. Alright. Action Surge. We'll just hit him. Oh, is it dark? Yeah, it is unlit. Oh. I should probably... S spell light on oh I see way too far away I guess this is why we want to have other spells other than light thing is like all of my characters are have low light vision oh except for the half flame. No. that would probably explain some things I'm thinking I might get lucky here Oh, right, they can do that, can't they? Of course, they can climb on walls. Oh, he's spooked. Okay, so I could go for the shove. But I think I'm not. We're gonna just go for the quick, uh, the sneak attack. Ah, well struck. Because ideally what ah. I want to do is, well, that was just sad. This is gonna get hairy. Oh, that was lucky. I was really hoping that grease spell would be like a thousand times stronger than it ended up being. Alright, so this pillar just got bad. Not too bad. Okay. Then we move forward. Then we attack again. Boy, <laughs> not exactly where I wanted it to be. Uh, let's see. Light, detect magic. Yeah, I really didn't think this far ahead, did I? All right, so I'm gonna start going for the saboteur. Well, I got him with eight radiant, damn. All right, that's, that's good. Plus we got shield of faith, healing word. I think we wanna wait on those. Okay, now unfortunately he's got disadvantage on all of these. But it doesn't matter, he hits... He hits nice and good. A right, cast spell, what do we got? Honestly? Ow. Oh. Uh, let's see, this might end up being a mistake. Cast spell. Nope, that's Grease. Cast Spell. Hideous Laughter. I'm gonna try and stun that guy. They've got terrible wi wisdom saves to begin with. Let's see. He's good. I'll probably have him use his boosted heal. Well, that was bad. Still gives me the sneak attack, though. Okay, end turn. And he's still properly incapacitated. Hell yeah, CC. Okay. Not much I can do about this. I could try this shove. But no, I, I think we're just going to go for the attack. Well it's going to take a while to chip yeah. these guys down. Eh, okay, not that long actually. Not at that rate. Okay. Let's abort. I'm gonna move her closer. So here's the issue. He can't hit anything. S spell light on Light is with us. Self. There we go. Now it's properly lit. She can he can actually do his job. There we go. Okay, cast spell. Fire bolt on that guy. Again. Oh. 
Alright, so far so good. They're really wailing on Robar. I can't forget that he has an ability. Okay, um... Do a disengage action. Oh. There we go. So let's do disengage action. Sneak through. Here's the thing. Can I... Nah, too high. Alright, fine. Good kill. Counts as a sneak attack. I was wondering about that. All right, so he's still messed up for a while. Let's see, range attack with an enemy, enemy nearby. I guess I'm just going to pop over here. This guy is down for the count for a time. And so I think in, instead of even bothering with it, seeing as he's down, S spell, okay, I think we're... Good. Uh, let's abort cross. Ah. S spell. Might as well cure wounds, Robart. Seeing as we're right next to him. Uh, let's see, and I don't want to do healing word, so we'll just wait. Robar. Tack. Ah. I'm Perfect. pretty sure damage does not stop him from being stunned, right? I actually do not know. Well, we might as well second wind as well. Put him right back up to full. Everything is good. Right, cast spell. Close enough. All right, he missed whoever he was shooting at. Robar. Of course he's shooting at Robar. Everybody wants a piece of Robar today. All right. And this should count as a sneak attack and a crit. Take and he that. dead. Hell yeah. Okay, cunning action dash. All right. Let's just have her getting close. Not that the skirmisher is actually particularly far away. We are good. All right. Nice long shot. That I like. All right. We got it. And now we've got this area to myself. So I guess Grease might not be a concentration necessarily. Whoops. Okay. Robar, you uh, get that. You've trained you. well. You we have nothing? Because it's... Yeah, I, I wonder if we needed the spell Jump or a character with an extremely high athletics. Well, here's an option. Hi. I'm going to try... Guidance. Please tell me. No path to testing... Sucks. I, it's fine. We'll be okay. I was just, I was really hoping I could get over there. I'm impressed. I was also really hoping I could drop a uh, stalactite on somebody, but it doesn't look like that's the case. Okay, got anything else around here? Doesn't look like it, no. Well, it's a shame, but I can't get every bit of loot. And now we're in the ancient library. That said, pretty sure I've gone... This. I might just one. drink myself to death. Cripes. Robar. Robar. What are you saying? No path to destination. Gosh. Okay. Next level up I get, we're investing in that jump spell. I was like, there's no way this is going to be helpful. There's no way I need this. The answer is apparently it's like the most useful spell I could have possibly picked. Because yeah, we've 
we've skipped out on a decent amount of loot. So it looks like um, this might be a place that we come back to. Mel, let's get out of here. Finally. I've been waiting for this We're for safe. months. We still have to go back to Kerr Kiflin. The road isn't far. We'll see you back there in Kerr Kiflin, right? You'll be okay. Aye. Yeah. Is that it? Oh yeah, we just go back. Horrible face, fast. Ambush me. Yep, Cass Goodberry provides food for the whole party. I Goodberry is busted. I was really hoping they were going to add the rest of, or at least some more D&D &D classes and races to this game. You know. Like, I really want, like, a tiefling druid. Why not? Druids are amazing. Let me tell you. I would have three druids and one... Um, three druids and a rogue as a party, unapologetically. And it would be great. Eh, two druids, a cleric, and a rogue. That would be the trick. All right. I guess next up, got to go meet with Karen. Oh, we're... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to stick it out. I have no long idea how long this video is going to be. It's going to be long. Hello, Annie. You're back. How did it go? Well, Captain Henrik is dead. I'm sorry. Oh. Well, who's in charge then? You might have to wait before going to KLM, I'm afraid. I see. Well, not your fault. Thanks for the heads up. You're welcome. Okay. I want to talk to Karen. Ron? Lord Karen. There we are. Oh, here you are. How was the mission? Not paid enough. Who is? When can we hope for an audience? It depends. Tomorrow, if you're lucky. Another party came back yesterday. And they still have to make their report, so maybe they'll see you both at once. Listen, we can't wait around here, huh? We, we, what we've got is big. The outpost at Kerr Lem has been attacked. Almost all of the garrison was killed. By all the gods! Meet me in the council chamber. I'll inform my superiors. Okay, good, they just worked. The Legacy me there. Council is now in session. Captain Merrin has the floor. Ladies and gentlemen, your royal highness, my party and I have made a very worrying discovery in the Badlands, near the place we call Black Hill. We saw a group that we took to be scavengers. They attacked us right away, but we were able to fight them off. They were trying to get away with this. What is it? This box contains a gem. A ruby, it appears. We have determined that it has magical properties, and we believe the Council should examine it. So we will, Captain. But really, is that all? You called an emergency meeting of the Council for a simple magical gem? Her Royal Highness has a busy schedule. Please, Lord Denantar. In this chamber, I'm just a student of magic. Here, yeah, here. Yeah. Anyway, Captain, the Council has a great deal of business. They were Sorax, our attackers. Not scavengers, not bandits. Sorax. Hmm. Sorax? Is this a joke? The Sor Akath are no laughing matter, Lord Fasek. Oh, you know what I mean. What do you mean, my lord? How many times has the Council heard tales of these so called Sorax? At least 20, I'd say. More. 23. Yes, more each year. It's becoming a fad. Our church has been warning of the Sor Akath since humans first came to Celasta, in the wake of their foul god, Sortar. I'm sorry, Captain, but you are certain that you encountered Sorax? It's true! They're real! What? And who might you be? Some new recruits, my lord. They were sworn in quite recently. New recruits, eh? They place too much stock in rumor, it seems. They assure me that they saw Sorax as well. Wait, do you realize how serious this is? They attacked the Kerlem outpost. The garrison suffered severe losses. Kerlem? The outpost in the marches? What do you mean by heavy losses? 
The Sorax took over Captain Henrik, and only two of them are still alive. They can testify too. Do you have any material proof of their existence? I beg your pardon? Like what? Well, a dead body, for example? Or even just a head? If we go to Kerr Lem, will we find the bodies of these Sorax? Probably not. They took their dead with them when they retreated. The bodies of their victims, too. Hmm, how very convenient. So you can offer us no proof of this adventurer's fable. And what if proof were to be brought before the Council? What proof? How? If the Sorax take away their fallen, <laughs> as they say, that's not our problem. Let them find a way. These are new recruits, correct? Then let this be their new mission. Bring us the head of a Sorak for the whole council to see. That would certainly be proof, Lord Fasek, would it not? Oh, very well. Meanwhile, the council will examine the gem. Uh, if there is nothing else... Dean Ayala Fasek of the Tower of Knowledge calls for a recess. Does any member object? No? It is resolved then. The Legacy Council is now in recess. That actually went better than I expected. We had to stand by Merrin. We know she speaks the truth. I'm sure she will appreciate your support. Anyway, some people might want to talk to you after this. Working for the Council, you are expected to be neutral. But? But you have the right to have friends. So, feel free to talk to whoever you like, as long as your allegiance remains to the Council as a whole. Of course. Hey, deputies. Thanks for the support in there. You're welcome, Captain. So those bastards got Henrik. Shame. You knew him? Yes, indeed. I wonder who'll volunteer to retake KLM now. The scavengers could lead the way. Yes, they'll find a bunch of hotheads to retake the fort, I'm sure. Stay in the light, friends. You too. It's just a parade of conversations. All right. Well, we've got a whole bunch of objectives. We've got a whole bu Oh my god. We've got a lot of things to do. Uh, oh, well, that's fine. Those, those are gone anyway. So I got a whole lot of people to talk to, a whole lot of things to do, uh, a whole lot of loot to sell, and how much money am I sitting on now? 146? That's not bad. I'm going to have to just go through my inventory. I'll probably do it off camera. Didn't I? I thought, I swear I picked up some meat earlier. Maybe I didn't. Damn. I would swear we had, like, picked up a, a piece of meat. I, I can't believe none of these get, you know, this. Sorak, poisonous spine. Weird beard, you dumbass. You have a thing. It's not, you know, the most useful. But, like, I don't know. I kind of really wish that you could have looted a body. Because, like, why wouldn't you? It's like, oh, these are this this creature that everybody thinks is, is mythology. I just behead one and carry the head with you. Just bail with it. It'll help. I don't know. I play too much D&D. Um, or I just do weird, weird dumb junk. Uh, so specifically when I was, uh, when I was in high school, I had a character that had a bag full of bodies, mainly because he was a necromancer, but it was like one point where it's like, uh, you know, we need proof of so-and-so, and I'm just like, all right, and just dumped bodies out, and everybody was horrified, and arrested me, but I, there was our proof. <laughs> Anywho, uh, for now at least... I guess I'll have to figure out how to do an outro for this one. Ooh, corrosive bolts. I got some toys to play with. And I'm sure they're going to be even more. I'm going to keep playing this, though. Actually, you know what? No, I probably did all of my, my beginning stuff at the very beginning of this series. I don't want to I don't want to get too close because I know people are going to want to talk to me. So we're just going to look at these pretty pillars. Look, I think they're absolutely lovely. Oh, look at that. Oh, I can get up in close. Uh, actually, they look pretty nice up close. Kind of reminds me of that... Oh, shoot. I don't even remember the name. There was, like, a another indie... It was, like, a Dragon Age indie, like, successor that was real pretty and real nothing. Um, 
but these pillars remind me of it. And this game is not real nothing. I actually, I really like this. I think I said it back when, um, gosh, I feel like I'm in ASMR mode. It's like 2.20 in the morning, so I'm a little sleepy. Uh, but I said this back when I played the early access version that I really wanted to play more, but I didn't want to play an early access version because I had no idea if my save file was going to stick around. Uh, at this point, I, I know they have more in store, or at least more planned for this game. Uh, and they said save files will never be wiped after this point, so you don't have to worry about that if you do decide to pick this game up. Um, but yeah, I just didn't want to dive into the early access version when I might lose my save file, because that would be tragic, and I don't want that. Uh, but at this point, now, I can play more of this whenever I want, and that is a good feeling. It's going to be another long-ass video, isn't it? Oh, well. Anyway, so, uh, first and foremost, thank you once again to... I totally can remember the name of this studio. It was something a little longer than usual. Tactical Adventures. There we go. It's not longer. It's just... I was, I was just trying, I didn't want to second guess myself. Anyway, thank you to Tactical Adventures for sponsoring this video. It was a lot of fun to do, uh, both times, and uh, honestly, you're going to get more than you bargained for, because I'm probably going to do a full series on this. Uh, you only go up to level 10 in this game, which means it's kind of on the shorter end of CRPGs. Uh, for those of you watching on YouTube, it might be a little weird as far as like uh, how I record this series. It might straight up be one of those that like I only put out a video on it, uh, every couple of days, but they're going to be long as hell, which is just like one session edited down into a video, and we'll just keep going until we're done, because I desperately want to play more of these longer games with like really good stories and really interesting locales and really fun combat, but generally too slow for me to do like a consistent series on, and so yeah, by putting them out only occasionally, maybe that might be a good way of doing it. I don't know, but for now at least... Uh, <laughs> I guess since this is going to be the first episode on YouTube, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know, and if you want to see more, hit subscribe, because I I really want to start getting some CRPGs in, just here and there. Like I said, they were my childhood, and uh, it feels really weird to play video games for a living, and, you know, not rep my roots that much. So, with that, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.